Hey guys, it's JP Double X here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite Crucible loadouts in Destiny. Obviously, Destiny, because we're doing a Destiny video, but these two weapons go very, very well with each other. I can cover a large range, I can cover close range, mid range, and even far range against those snipers. But before we go into the video, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a like, guys. Our goal is 2,000 likes, and without further ado, here we go into the video. So with how the meta is right now, I like using a scout rifle and a shotgun. The shotgun is very good for those shotgun warriors who try to rush me, obviously. And uh, I don't, I'm not a, I'm not an aggressive shotgunner. I keep it more to like, a, you know, like an actual special weapon. I like using my, uh, my, my primary a lot more. How I use my shotgun is when someone's rushing me, I pull it out and I defend myself with the shotgun because if you don't have a shotgun, you can't defend, you can't defend yourself, man. And for the primary, I use a scout rifle. The scout rifle, I already made a video on this scout rifle. It is the, this exact scout rifle, actually. It is the Badger CCL. I've actually gotten quite a few Badger CCLs, probably better rolls than the one I have on right now. But the reason why I use this one is because it has a triple tap and hidden hand. Hidden hand is actually really, really good for scout rifles, especially if they're high impact, slow fire rate, which is the Badger CCL. But the reason why I love using this scout rifle, and I've been using it a lot recently over pretty much any other weapon, I don't really use exotics, I, I don't even know when was the last time I used an exotic weapon in a Crucible. I just don't use exotics, why? You probably be like, JMP, why don't you use any exotics? They, they give you a lot of advantage. You should use the last word. Use the last word. I mean, I don't like using exotics. It's just, you know, it all comes down to personal preference, you know? I like getting good with uh, legendary weapons. I don't want to, you know, get used to an exotic weapon because uh, that exotic isn't always going to be available for you. Like, if you want to use a different exotic, you're not going to be able to use that other exotic. You know what I mean? And right there in this gameplay, I got an error. I've actually been getting these errors all freaking day trying to get footage for you guys to make this video. I don't know how many hours I spent, man, trying to get footage, and every time I, I'm in a game, like, in a game, seriously, the game just, like, instantly boots me, and, uh, I just, I'm, t I'm just like, Bungie, please fix this. I don't know how many times I've gotten errors already, but, uh, I've somehow managed to make this video, I have somehow managed to get enough footage for this video, <laughs> but all those errors, man, all those errors, something needs to be fixed, Bungie. You broke it with that update. Fix it, please. Now, a lot of people are pissed off. A lot of people are pissed off. But back on topic, I kind of got off topic right there. But the scout rifle, Jesus, this thing is very, very beautiful overall. It kills with three headshots and actually kills pretty damn quickly. Sometimes you cannot get outgunned, but like, as you see right here by the last word, I don't know, that's like the only gun that I keep getting outgunned by, honestly, the last word. Like, even from range distance, when I'm trying to use the this scout rifle, because the, the last word, when it hits you, it actually makes you makes you flinch very, very hard. I know it's a, it's a hand cannon, and the hand cannon, the primaries and the hand cannon are the ones that make the most flinch in the primary section. But how, you know, the, the last word has full auto, it, it constantly gives you that flinch, and it's insanely difficult to land the headshots on uh, this, these type of scout rifles, honestly, or any scout rifle, except for the Mida. Mida is just like, um, pretty easy, honestly, but uh, yeah. Also, another reason why I love using this thing is because of snipers. Yeah, you know, there's some guy camping in the back, he has a sniper, and uh, you can actually outgun these snipers with this beauty scout. Three little taps to the face, and they are dead. Sometimes the snipers don't even uh, challenge me when I, when I kill them a lot of times in the same game when I have this scout rifle because it's this scout rifle is very good for snipers but if they're really far away because I have injection mold on my scout rifle they actually the bullets don't even hit honestly even though this is a scout rifle right here I killed this blade dancer very nice and beautiful indeed I think he kind of panicked there maybe he didn't see me I don't know but uh, yeah on right here this little, nice little clip right here is a from iron banner I get a triple kill with my nade yeah my incinerary nade Actually, don't full, don't show the full clip, but that was actually a uh, winning winning uh, game right there, a clutch. So that was a uh, very damn good indeed. 
And actually, right now, I'm trying to replace this scout rifle with uh, another scout rifle, actually. The same archetype. Same archetype, but better stats, in my opinion. It is the Hand of Judgment, I believe that's what it's called, from Challenge of Elders. I've, I've been grinding and grinding and grinding tri tri fucking trials of... What? I can't even speak right now, guys. I can't speak right now, guys. Uh, Challenge of Elders. Why am I saying Trials of Elders? I don't know, but anyways, I really want that Sky Rifle. I'll probably want that Sky Rifle with uh, Hidden Hand and uh, the other two perks, honestly, whatever, whatever it gives me. But uh, more stability is always good. Hidden Hand on that Sky Rifle because that Sky Rifle actually has a 50 base aim assist. This one actually has the Badger CCL actually has a 40, not 40, uh, 39 base aim assist, which is actually pretty low compared to pretty much all the other uh, other primary weapons, honestly. Most primary weapons have like 60 plus, 70, 80, 90. Maeda is the only one that I actually know that has about 90 aim assist as a primary, which is ridiculous. But it is an exotic, so you know, it gets to, that, gets to have that aim assist or whatever. Now for the shotgun. The shotgun is, of course, the Party Crasher, as you guys have been seeing. I use this beauty, this exact party crasher has range finder, rifled barrel, and replenish. Replenish is actually very, very good. Whenever I use in my defender bubble, I just, when I'm running low on uh, special ammo, which is pretty much always never, honestly, because I, 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 sometimes I go without using my special, honestly. If I have a shotgun, I use my primary a lot. Because uh, I like primaries, I'm also trying to save the primaries, honestly. But uh, when it comes to my shotgun, when I have it equipped in a game, I I sometimes get maybe two, three kills, and then there I, I just don't use it whatsoever. That's just because of me. I the the positions I put myself in the Crucible match, I try to get into a, a lot of uh, primary gunfights. But sometimes, you know, I get outgunned by snipers or shotgun warriors in here and there. I try to make the special feel special, even though I have like 20 freaking rounds in uh, in reserve from, you know, not, not like 20, but you know, you guys know what I mean. I have like almost full ammo for my shotgun. Sometimes I don't use it at all. But the shotgun is a shotgun. There's not much to say about the shotgun. Honestly, you know, it's a shotgun. You guys know what it does. One shots or whatever pellets and stuff you know it's a shotgun there's not much more to say but replenish is very good for my defender when I'm running low I when, or whenever I use a defender I normally do uh, run with a shotgun just because uh, if I run with anything else uh, besides a shotgun as my defender I actually feel very defenseless because uh, you you just need a shotgun period with a defender even though if it's the universal remote actually to be honest uh i might make a video on the universal remote i've been hearing that uh it got buffed in some way i'm not too sure but i don't know let me know if if you guys think that the universal remote got buffed i might make a video on it but i've been getting killed with like full health by the universal remote from like an extreme distance like uh, year one fell winter slide it's it's a little crazy because it doesn't have that much impact and it doesn't have that much range but I think it's that one perk the I forgot what it's called but uh, I don't know I, don't, I think it's called universal remote the perk I'm not too sure but uh, and it where it increases range and precision damage while aiming down sights I'm not sure if it has that much range like a whole bunch of range but I've been getting killed from a pretty far distance by that thing i don't know it's just might be uh might be might, i might be unlucky i don't know but i really want to try the universe remote out i might uh you know i might do a video on it defender video with the universe remote and here's another game that i was doing very well in and i got the beaver arrow as, as i was telling you guys beaver arrow when i say beaver arrow fast i always say arrow instead of air but uh, whatever, you know, it's just uh, it's just a common thing that I do. So let's go back to the scout rifle. The scout rifle, woo, they're actually really good. The the high impact, the highest impact rate of fire, low rate of fire scout rifles are actually very very good in the crucible. If you have one, try it out. Try it out. Even though it has poop perks, just try it out. It kills very fast. You want to stay your distance though, because if uh, some enemy comes up close, like let's say out of rifle range, 
or last word range, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. It's going to be uh, pretty hard to land your shots. Oh, and this clip, I actually managed to find um, five guys. Five guys. We all had five defender bubbles. It was a lot of fun. This was like the first game in like forever that I've ever seen five defenders in one game. And uh, they were my team, which was a lot of fun. A lot of freaking fun. So much fun. I haven't really seen this type of stuff in a very long time. Everybody rolls with, you know, the Slayer Supers and having five defenders in one team. We also had a Golden Gun, but he was, you know, he was just getting those orbs and uh, getting those kills. So this brings us to like the end of the video, guys. And uh, I don't know, I need to get used to, you know, these type of commentary videos. I normally don't do these type of videos. You guys know that I normally do like live commentary. Uh, gameplay videos and stuff like that. I'm not very good at uh, commentating over stuff like this, but uh, hopefully it will improve in the future. But if you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you know and stuff like that, make sure to give it a like. Our goal is 2,000 likes. Subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching. Remember, guys, that I freaking love you. And but by, by the time I uh, finish this video or upload it, uh, I might not be available to. Uh, comment or reply to your guys comment because uh, it's gonna be it's my birthday so uh, yeah but that was that guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, weird commentary video thing I've shown you guys my favorite class in the crucible how it is right now and that is pretty much it thank you again for watching and until next time later